Some of the children in this hospital ward traveled for weeks to get here after being shot, knifed, or hit by shrapnel in the ongoing war in Ethiopia's Tigray region. 15-year-old Bariha Gebre has lost one eye and is permanently blind in the other. She and her cousin went out to play in the yard. Suddenly, they saw people running. They also ran and they were both shot. It took Gebre weeks to get to this hospital in the regional capital, Makala, as they traveled from town to town, trying to find a clinic to treat her. He says everywhere he went, he found health centers destroyed and looted. After the fighting stopped, the nurse for this clinic in Edega Hamas returned to find a burnt-out tank, bullet-riddled signs, and dead soldiers on the streets. Like so many others, her clinic was empty. Yes, I came and uh, the door is clo uh, opened. The glass are broken, and the equipment are stolen. Nothing here. Patients, including children and victims of rape, still come to her with war injuries. But there is very little she can do. Emergency medicine is where there. It was stolen, and some is here. Infusions and dressing, suturing. All the equipments are stolen here. Tefatowicz says she refers patients to the few hospitals in the main cities where medical workers say they are short of supplies in every department. In the Eider Hospital in Mekala, some children say losing their limbs has been less painful than losing their loved ones. My older brother was with me. He was injured and died. The Ethiopian government says it takes very seriously its responsibility to alleviate the suffering of the people in the Tigray region. The government blames the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front for the war that began last November after a coordinated attack on its forces in the region. But many people in Tigray say the region is under attack from federal forces, Eritrean forces, and Amhara militias. Heather Murdoch, VOA News, Makala and Edega Hamas, Ethiopia.